Let's begin with my routine OT day. Changing into my favorite set of scrubs from Kanye Med. Let's go. Let me give you a tour of my OT. Let's start with the recovery room. Entering the recovery room, the patients. This is 8 a.m. in the morning. Just reach the OT. The patients have been shifted. Now let's enter into the OT complex. So changing into my OT shoes. And here we go. So we have five OTs here. So this OT one and all preparations are done for the spine case. This is OT two and this is the third OT where the patient has already been taken in. It is a lumbar listhesis and decompression fixation surgery will be done here. So this is the patient which will be operating today. It is a cervical patient with neck pain and upper limb radiation. So the patient is shifted inside the OT and anesthetists have given me privilege to intubate the patient. So I'll be putting in the tube today. The intubation is a process of giving general anesthesia to the patient so that patient is anesthetized throughout the surgery and does not experience pain. So this was a bougie guided intubation which I performed under the guidance of our anesthetist. So after anesthesia, the patient is all set for positioning. We have positioned the patient and after positioning, here comes the painting and draping part. Here I am sterilizing and cleaning the operative area and a draping is performed after that. So the patient is properly draped so that sterility is maintained and the surgery can be carried out with strict aseptic precautions. These drapes are sterile and autoclaved which prevent any body part or contaminant coming into the surgery field. So the assistant is one of the implant guys who is helping me with the draping. So while we are draping, let me just give an overview about the surgery. So this patient has cord compression at two levels. So we will be doing a two level anterior decompression and cervical fixation surgery. So that involves spinal cord decompression at two vertebral levels. So we will be removing the disc and let's start. So I will be the assistant here and the senior surgeon is operating upon and we have done the discectomy under the operating microscope which helps us to visualize things better and improve the safety of the surgery. So here the disc material which was compressing the cord was removed and it was replaced with an artificial disc which is implanted to fuse the decompressed vertebral bodies. So this spacer goes into the disc space helps in fusion so this space is now hammered into the disc space and the spacer which is filled with bone graft acts as a bed for fusion between these two vertebral bodies where the discectomy was performed so after the spacer is placed into the disc space it is fixed with the help of screws the appropriate position of the spacer is confirmed with the help of an x-ray image viewer called Siam and after exact placement and position of the implant is confirmed we go for the closure so what we have done basically is removed the disc fragment which was compressing on the spinal cord and causing the symptoms in the patient so removing this fragment which was helps in relieving the patient's symptoms. So this is the final x-ray picture after the placement of the implant. So after the decompression part is finished, now two important steps remain, which is the closure of the wound and then reversal of the patient from anesthesia. So to close the wound, we opened it in layers. So we close it in layers. Firstly, we close the muscle layer followed by the skin layer. The wound is closed over a drain which is placed in negative suction which sucks out the blood 
which gets collected in the space dead space which is created by the surgery when patient is reversed out of anesthesia and extubated so collar is placed to protect the patient for few days till we start the experience this is the surgery which was carried out successfully with a positive and good outcome the patient was mobilized immediately the same evening out of bed and was walking comfortably